commutativity or subtraction of rational numbers. In our previous video, we discussed that addition of rational numbers is commutative. In this video lecture, let's learn whether subtraction of rational numbers is commutative or not. It means that if we take two rational numbers, a and b, and if we subtract b from a, then these two rational numbers, that is the subtraction of these two rational numbers will be commutative if this a minus b is equal to b minus a. If this gets satisfied, then we say that, yes, the subtraction of rational numbers is commutative. So let's learn whether this is true or not. For this to understand, we have taken two rational numbers, 8.09 and minus 7.081. And let's first subtract minus 7.081 from 8.09. So 8.09 minus minus 7.081. Okay. Now, whenever we add or subtract two rational numbers, then we first always make them like rational numbers. That means they should have the same denominator. And to do that, we first take the LCM of uh, the denominators. So the LCM of 9 and 81 will be 81. Okay. Now, let's make these two rash, uh, rational numbers like rational numbers. So this becomes... 81. So 81 divided by 9 gives us 2. So this is 8 times 2. Right? We have discussed all these things that is addition of rational numbers and subtraction of rational numbers, multiplication, division, each and everything we have discussed in our earlier videos. So please go to the playlist and watch those videos. And this becomes minus. I assume that you know the addition and subtraction of rational numbers. So in this case, then this is 81. So this is 81, so there is no need to divide, I mean the denominators are the same, so this is the same, that is minus 7. This is 8 times 2, it becomes 16, and this is 16 over 81 minus, minus 7 over 81. Now if we open the bracket, if we remove the bracket, then this is 16 over 81. Inside the bracket is minus, outside the bracket is minus, so this becomes plus. 7 over 81. This gives you, now denominators are the same, therefore 81 and this is 16 plus 7, 16 plus 7, you get 23 over 81. Okay, this is when we subtract minus 7 over 81 from 8 over 9. Now let's do, now let's do minus 7 over 81 minus 8 over 9. That is, we are subtracting 8 over 9 from minus 7 over 81. So again, LCM of 9 and 81 will be same. That is 81 only. So if you further simplify it, this is 81. The L, it's equal to 80, uh, the LCM. So keep it as it is. This is minus 7. Then this is minus this is, this also becomes 81. So 81 divided by 9 means what? 9. We get the quotient as 9. And then this becomes 8 times 9. Minus 7 over 81. This is minus 72 over 81. The denominators are the same. So 81 minus 7 minus 72. This gives you minus 79 over 81. Now, in the first case, we have got 23 over 81. And in the second case, that is minus 7 over 81 minus 8 over 9, we are getting minus 79 over 81. Clearly, these two are actually not equal. That is, the difference is not equal for this subtraction for this subtraction. So in this example, it fails, right? Let's take another example. Minus 5 over 3 and minus 7 over 9. First subtract minus 7 over 9 from minus 5 over 3. We have taken the taken two negative rational numbers. So this is minus 5 over 3 and this is minus, minus 7 over 9. So this becomes minus 5 over 3 and our first step is always to take 
the LCM. Why? Because we want to make these two rational numbers as like rational numbers. The LCM of 3 and 9 will be what? LCM of 3 and 9. This will be 9 only. Right? Now, this is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. That is, you get quotient as 3. So this becomes minus 5 times 3. This is minus and here we have 9 so there's there will be no change in the numerator so this becomes minus 15 over 9 and now if we open the bracket inside the bracket is minus outside the bracket is minus so this becomes plus 7 over 9 now we have two like rational numbers like because we the denominators are the same so simply write here 9 and then minus 15 plus 7 we get minus 8 or 9. So this is the difference for this subtraction. Let's take, let's take in this case, that is minus 7 or 9 and from this rational number we will subtract minus 5 or 3. Again, the first step is always to take the LCM. LCM will remain the same, that is 9 only. So the second step is to make them like rational numbers. This is 9. No need to change the numerator because it's equal to uh, the LCM. This is minus. Here we will have 9. So 9 divided by 3 means the quotient will be 3. So this is minus 5 times 3. Minus 7 over 9. Minus 15 over 9. 9. So this is minus 7 over 9. Outside the bracket is minus, inside the bracket is minus, so this becomes plus 15 over 9. So this is 9 minus 7 plus 15, and you get 8 over 9. We get 8 over 9. So in this example, here we are getting, here we are getting 8 over 9, but here we got, we, here we have got minus 8 over 9. Clearly, this is 8 over 9, this is minus 8 over 9. So these two are not equal because here we have a negative sign. So from this example, and from this example, in both these two examples, we can clearly see that if we subtract a first a minus b then a minus b is not equal to actually b minus a therefore we say that subtraction of rational numbers is not commutative addition of rational numbers was commutative